hi guys i'm back at it once again making another video welcome to my youtube channel my name is ricky so today's video is basically going to be about i'm basically going to be treating a topic um i have stated in my other video the other time that um this channel is going to basically going to be about advices, stocks. Basically, and there's sometimes well, sometimes I will be sharing the word of God together. So today I have a topic. I had a topic in mind that I've built on and God has helped me out with it. So the topic is making a change. You know why in the new year now everybody be like, New Year, new me. If you actually mean the like if you actually want to make a change and this is talking about it. So every single person may have noticed one thing or the other from the past year of their life that they really want to make particular um changes, particular things, they want to fix up some things, make new arrangements, fish out the wrong things they've been doing and do something new and better. So um how to make a change. Um you've noticed this particular thing. Um how exactly do you want to make this change? Now the first step to making a change is to identify and understand what you want to change. Just like what I have stated, I have mentioned the other time. Um I have noticed this thing I've been doing in my past year or in my past life or you know what I've been doing before that I, I I have seen, I've experienced, I believe that it is wrong and it needs to be changed. I have to actually point that particular thing out and understand it, understand the fact that I want to make this change, um, embrace the change. After finding out what you want to do and then you understand that um, I want to change this particular thing. When the change is coming in, embrace it. Yes, and this change is a very key thing. When you decide you want to make changes, state out the changes, identify the changes you want to make. I understand the fact that I have to make this change, but you don't you're not feeling the change. So embrace that change. Um and this is my friend, she was the one that disturbed my other video. So basically, um like I was talking about before, embrace the change. Now, according to Deuteronomy chapter 31, verse 6, I'm going to be reading it to us now. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or terrified because of them. For the Lord your God goes with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Now, embrace this change. Like, this change you want to make, it may seem like a change that is bigger than you. But this is the uh, word of God basically encouraging us that you should be strong because God is with you. So you don't have to feel like, ah, this change, this change is bigger than me or anything. So far as it is a way of improving yourself, God does want you to improve yourself. It's a way of improving yourself. So definitely, since God is already with you, um, you are going to have to, you are definitely going to be able to um, overcome that change. Tell someone about it. Um, it's very important in this life. I have been able to notice and figure out that you actually need a mentor in your life. Tell someone about like I want to make this change. I want to stop pressing my phone every single day. I can tell my friend about it now and be like, okay, if you see me always on my phone, you have pressed my phone. Ask me how long have I been on my phone? That kind of thing. If there's someone to actually keep tab on you, ask you that, oh, how far with this thing that you want to do, and it should be someone that is trusted definitely. How far is this that you want to do? And then basically, there'll be improvements, just like ways to make this particular change. Now, take one step at a time what you can do. You want to make this change. I cannot, I am, for example, I am addicted to my phone now. I cannot say that because I'm like, I want to stop. I cannot just stop it immediately. It's a step by step process, definitely. So you have to take it step by step. There's also a Bible passage that accompanies that, which is um, Philippians. Chapter 4, verse 13. So I am reading my Bible. Okay. Philippians 4, verse 13. It says, I can do all things through Him who gives me strength, which is Christ. Christ is the one that gives us strength. So you can do all things with Him. Take, just 
that's like an encouragement why you're trying to make this step to make the particular change so just take it step by step and then one important another important step is jesus first put jesus first a bible passage accompanying that is first john chapter 1 verse 9 First John chapter 1 verse 9. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just and will forgive us our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness. Now, put Jesus first in the sense that you have to actually give yourself to God. You have to surrender your life to him. I have made a video in the past actually about this, but it's not it's never too much to keep on marrying it. If you've not given your life to Christ. You can take a minute, pause this video, just tell him, talk to him, tell him that Jesus, I'm ready to surrender myself to you. I want to take charge, I want to make these changes, I cannot do these changes myself. Your word has shown me that I cannot do this alone, and you are right beside me, you give me strength, as we saw in the Deuteronomy. So just basically, pause this video, pray to God, ask him to forgive you your sin, he's ready to accept you. I pray God help in Jesus' name. Um, Put Jesus first in everything that you want to do. It is um it's very very important because I be, we don't have you don't have the strength of your own to do anything. You may be willing to do it, but that strength is not there. And it's God who gives us the strength. I think I have another Bible passage. Now, therefore, if anyone is in Christ, is a new creature. The whole things have gone, and the new things have have come. Now you are giving your life to Christ now. The things you used to do before, they are now in the past. And God doesn't look at the past. Once you have told him that God, this is now my past. I want you, I want you to make me new. It's going to renew you. So you just need to give your life to him. Put him in your life. Let him be the center of every single thing you want to do. And just like this encouragement in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17. All things are now past away. All things are now new. I pray God will help us in Jesus. Now the next step to making a change is forget about your own self. Like this Bible passage said, all things are passed away, all things have become new. If you when you begin to look back to the way you used to be, ah, before I used to be like this, moving forward will be something very it's very hard. Now I want to travel so I'm running somewhere and there is a chain. The chain of um the big chain, the weighty chain is my past now. The chain is going to keep dragging me back if I don't leave it behind. But the moment I say, I don't want, I'm not going to carry it along with me, I leave you behind. You run faster. I pray God will help us all in Jesus' name. Let's see another Bible passage that concerning this is Isaiah chapter 43 from um, verse 18. Isaiah 43, 18. Forget the former things, do not dwell on the past. And that you are now with someone new, just forget about it. This is the word of God telling you. This is a post from the Bible that you don't need to think about the past, just leave it behind. Focus on the future that God has for you. And the last one, not the least, and the very important, the most important point is to follow God's word. There is a book of things inside this word. Plenty, yes, like say, says, what is life? A lot of word, a lot of ah, any trouble that you will come across in this life, there's an answer in this word. Just mm -hmm. read it. Best thing and, by God. and with that point, I have let's read from Psalms 119 from verse 105. That's the longest chapter in the Bible. Oh my God, <laughs> <laughs> Psalm 119 from verse 105. Mm -hmm. Okay, I read. Your word is a lamp for my feet, a light on my path. You see, when you follow God's word, even when you are walking when it's supposed dark, because you are following his word, there will be a bright light right in front of you that is saying that, yes, God is saying this is the particular place. You go through it. And it's always a very, very smooth. It's the smoothest road ever. So just accept this word. Hold on to this word, and it's going to be the light onto your path. Thank you for the Jesus' name. Thank you very much for listening to my video. Yeah. During the course of the video, if you have been blessed, I want you to please, and also those that give their life to Christ during this video, should please 
um dm me i'm going to drop my instagram handle and my my social media accounts basically you can dm me privately if you don't want to drop it down in the comments below because after giving your life to christ there are steps in which you need to go through to grow in christ i pray god will help you in jesus name i hope you guys enjoyed my video thank you very much for sitting tight hi guys i'm back at it once again making another video welcome to your channel with my